Oh yeah. Right. Um, color correction, i.e. spots, blemishes, um, different things you have to battle with every day when you do your makeup. So if you've got any blemishes or any spots or any discoloring on your face, just using concealer is not going to, to really work. Um, <clears throat> you have to use a, a colour corrector. I don't have it any to hand, but I have printed off a guide. So if you have redness anywhere on your face, you should be using a green colour corrector. It's basically a green concealer, but they're called colour correctors. Fortunately, I don't think Body Shop actually do any of these. Um, but I can obviously put some links um, down for recommendations. Um, so, green neutralises redness. A yellow, we're not talking normal concealer, we're talking yellow concealer. That will hide purple tones and blue tones. So, like the dark circles underneath your eye. Um, the purple colour corrector is to get rid of yellow undertones. And there's a pink one, which masks signs of fatigue, so it's a brightening. So, you, again, you could use that under your eyes, and then you'd put your normal concealer on top of that. Um... An orange is for deep discoloration. So a lot of these could, you could use on some of the same things. So if you've got more redness all over, then you're going to use green. And you might use a bit of yellow. Uh, sorry, pink underneath your eyes. So it just depends. That's what we've got here. That's what you see there. Green yellow purple pink and orange i will pop this in the um in the chat so you can um save it for yourself and um, print it out or keep it on your phone whatever so yes it's not as simple as just popping some concealer on a very 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 good high coverage concealer may well do the job but them colours are still going to shine through so you need you need to kind of block the colour then conceal on top of it um, I don't actually have to do this right now but I have done in the past um, and it really does work so again if and also if you've got a spot and you've picked it and it's bleeding and then it's scabbed over no amount of concealer is going to cover that up because it's an open wound so the concealer will always gather around the spot and it would never cover on top of it. It might go on top of it when you put it on, but it would always it always disappears. So if you're getting spots, please do not pick them if you if you want your makeup to cover those spots up. As soon as you pick that spot, it's an open wound and no amount of makeup is gonna and, and in fact it actually make it makes it look worse worse because it, it gathers and it goes all clumpy around the, the spots and it just it doesn't look very nice and it, it goes quite cakey so if you want your makeup to look nice do not pick your spots leave them alone sort them out with your skincare routine don't pick your face okay i know that sounds easier than easier done than said but i, I don't really get spots either so i don't really struggle with that so i, I feel for those who do um but yes leave them alone color correct and you will be happy okay see you later bye bye